scrutiny over the popular app TikTok is growing. U.S. officials are reportedly demanding that the app's Chinese owner sell its stake in the app or risk a nationwide ban. Joining us now to discuss the man who worked to crack down on TikTok under the Trump administration, former Under Secretary of State Keith Kroc. Welcome. And you believe TikTok is a national security threat. What concerns you the most? Well, I think the, the biggest thing is that TikTok can track uh, keystrokes. Here's, here's what that means. That means that they have access to your passwords, your, your, all your data. They have access to your health records, your bank records. They have access to your geopolitical information or your, your geospatial information. That means that they can track where you are, where you've been, and where you're going. But I think one of the things that's worse is that it's not just about you. It's about the people you digitally interact with. So look at it as, as a, a digital virus because it can, infect, it can infect the people around you. And the only cure for this is, uh, the only vaccine for this is, is, a, is a total ban. Well, Keith, experts have called a potential TikTok ban uncharted territory. They've been talking about this for uh, quite some time and a huge undertaking. And experts uh, say a nationwide ban may not stop the app from collecting Americans' data. How exactly would one work? And how concerned are you that Americans would be able to get around a ban? Yeah, you know, it's actually not unprecedented. We did the same thing with Huawei uh, in 5G. And... If you look at uh, Huawei that, and 5G, that's the backbone for their surveillance state. And TikTok is one of those key appendages that comes off of that. So right now uh, in Congress, uh, Senator Warner, Senator Thune have a bill, the Restrict Act, that actually gives the Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo, the authority uh, to ban uh, applications, technology from our adversaries. A bipartisan bill to give the president power to ban the app is gaining support in the Senate. You've discussed TikTok concerns with members of Congress and the Biden administration. But how real of a possibility is this? What are you hearing from them? Oh, this is certainly real. You know, I can tell you, uh, as undersecretary, I had a lot of closed door sessions uh, with Congress. I couldn't tell the difference between a Democrat and a Republican when it came to uh, Chinese technology. You know, this is our biggest national security threat. And I can tell you, if, if they can weaponize a balloon, uh, they can certainly weaponize 150 million American TikTok users at their mercy. So with that said, what's your response to the critics of this ban, including the ACLU, who argue it would limit free speech and violate the First Amendment? Look, I, you know, I'm, I'm all for uh, free speech, a big advocate for that. But the fact is that TikTok limits free speech. If you don't believe me, just just uh, uh, try to post something on Tiananmen Square or uh, post something on Taiwan and you'll see what happens. You know, the other thing, too, is that TikTok has been used uh, to limit freedom of the press. I was just uh, talking to a reporter yesterday from the Financial Times, and she shared with me how TikTok, they actually use TikTok to track down one of their journalists and uh, try to intimidate him in that uh, uh, writing a, an unflattering story about China. One of the things a lot of parents talk about when it comes to TikTok and social media, according to recent CDC data, nearly one in three high school girls considered attempting suicide in 2021, up nearly 60 percent from a decade before. And now schools across the country are suing social media companies for allegedly contributing to the youth mental health crisis. TikTok says they prioritize safety and well-being of teens with age-restricted features, screen time limits, and parental controls. but. My question to you, what can Silicon Valley do to better protect our kids? Yeah, you know, Eva, I've, I've got 11-year-old twins, a boy and a girl. So obviously this is a, this is a big issue. You know, there's, there's social media and then there's TikTok. You know, TikTok is programmed uh, uh, to be addicted. It's, it preys actually on children. It's kind of disguised as candy, but it's, it's actually cocaine. And this is one of the big things. If you look at how TikTok is actually being used inside of China, I'm not talking outside of China, they use it as an educational app for STEM, for science, uh, technology, engineering, and math. 
So there's two big differences there. And TikTok is by far the worst. All right, former Under Secretary of State Keith Kroc, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.